iWay Big Data Integrator provides the ability to map and transform data in a Hadoop distributed file system using the Mapper tool. This video shows you how to create and run a mapping configuration using iWay BDI. Expand your project node in the Project Explorer tab, for example, BDI. Right click the Mappings folder, select New, and then click Other from the context menu. The New dialog opens. Type Mapper in the field to filter the selection. Select Big Data Mapper, and then click Next. The New Mapper dialog opens. Type a name for your mapping configuration in the name field. For example, Transform underscore Customer, and click Finish. Your new mapping is listed as a new node under the Mappings folder of your BDI project. The Transform underscore Customer IW Mapper tab is also opened automatically in the main workspace where you can begin to design your mapping. As you configure your mapping, the palette in the right pane provides a collection of objects and components that you can select by dragging and dropping onto your workspace. Drag and drop the source object from the palette onto the design view. The new source table dialog opens. Expand BDI underscore retail underscore DB in the left pane. Select the customers table and then select the following columns. Customer underscore ID. Customer underscore F name. Customer underscore L name. Customer underscore email. Customer underscore password. Customer underscore street. Customer underscore city. Customer underscore state. Customer underscore zip code. Click finish. The first source object is added to the design view. Drag and drop another source object from the palette onto the design view. The new source table dialog opens. Expand BDI underscore retail underscore DB in the left pane. Select the orders table and then select the following columns. Order underscore ID. Order underscore date. Order underscore customer underscore ID. Order underscore status. Click Finish. The second source object is added to the design view. Drag and drop the expressions object from the palette onto the design view. The expressions object is added to the design view. Hover over the right corner of the expressions object and click the Expression Builder icon. The Expression Builder dialog opens. Type the expression shown on the screen now. Click Finish. The expressions object is updated and refreshed in the design view. Click the Save icon or use the Ctrl S shortcut to save your work. Drag and drop the target object from the palette onto the design view. The target dialog opens. Perform the following steps. Select New Table, which will create a new table target entry with custom columns. Type Simple Customer in the table name field. Select BDI underscore retail underscore DB from the target schema dropdown list. Click Finish. The target object is added to the design view. Select the first source object. Hover over the customer underscore ID column. Click and drag the create join operation as a connecting line to the order underscore customer underscore ID column in the second source object. The join type dialog opens. Select inner as the join type and click OK. The inner join mapping is created in the design view. Select the first source object, hover over the upper right corner of this object, click and drag the create mapping operation as a connecting line to the expressions object. The mapping is created between the first source object and the expressions object in the design view. Note, as a best practice, create mappings between source objects and expressions objects before configuring an expression. Click the save icon or use the Control S shortcut to save your work. Hover over the upper right corner of the target object and click the Add Table Column icon. Repeat the previous step three times so that a total of four table columns are now added. You will need to change these default column names. Hover over each column underscore name entry and click the Edit Column Name icon. The Edit Column dialog opens. Here you can specify a new column name and click OK to accept the change. Repeat the previous step by renaming each column underscore name entry as follows. Rename column underscore name to order underscore ID. Rename column underscore name 1 to order underscore date. Rename column underscore name 2 to order underscore status. Rename column underscore name 3 to order underscore name. 
After you finish, your target object should resemble what's on the screen now. Now create mappings between the second source object and the target object of the same name. Order underscore ID, order underscore date, and order underscore status. Create a mapping between the expressions object and the order underscore name table column in the target object. In the design view, your completed mapping should look like what you see now on the screen. Click the save icon or use the control S shortcut to save your work. Expand the mappings folder under the BDI project node. Right click transform underscore customer dot IW mapper, select run as and then click run configurations. The Run Configurations dialog opens. Right-click Iway Big Data Integrator Build and select New from the context menu. A new Run slash Build Configuration pane opens. Specify the following information. Name. Deployment Build Target. Host Name. Username. Password. Deployment Location. Iway Big Data Integrator Processes. Note. To specify the value for the Iway Big Data Integrator Processes area, click the green plus sign icon which opens the Iway Big Data Integrator Process Selection dialog. Expand BDI, Mappings, and then Transform underscore Customer dot IW Mapper. Click OK. From the Run Configurations dialog, click Apply and then Run. Note, this process may take several minutes to complete. Click the Console tab, which displays Iway BDI messages during processing. The messages currently shown on screen indicate that the mapper configuration has been successfully compiled and deployed. In the Project Explorer tab, expand the Mappings folder and then Transform underscore Customer dot Target, where you will now see the generated build folder.